Greetings everyone, Xanrath here, and welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week in the Tavern Brawl, and this week, it is the, um, well, I don't know, much anticipated, I'm not sure if people are really anticipating it or not, uh, Heroic Brawl, um, I don't know, a lot of people are like, well, you know, is it really worth it? Questionable, right, because it's like, you have to win six matches in a row or something like that, to, or not in a row, but you have to win six matches in order to break even, because it costs a thousand gold. Anyways, all that jazz. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, basically it's like, uh, well, let's read through what's what's going on here. Um, uh, this week's brawl is for our most experienced players. Your skill and collection will matter, of course, and so obviously we're uh, here at uh, a disadvantage, because don't have all the good cards, but uh, alas, still going to move on. Um... The winner gets the spoils, more wins means more awards, 12 wins for maximum glory, 3 losses ends your turn, or and 3 losses end your run. So, uh, 0 wins, looks like you get a pack, 12 wins, um, based on the, whatchamacallit, um, that info thing they sent out, I think it's like, you get 3 golden legendaries, like, circa 1,000-ish gold, plus 1,000-ish, um, Dust and I don't remember how many packs or whatever. You can look it up. Tavern brawl, hero tavern brawl, um, rewards and all that jazz, right? So it's it's basically like arena. Um, and I think based on the rewards, you have to get about six wins to break even in terms of um, like packs and gold you get, and then you also get a handful of dust. I think it's like five to six hundred ish gold, and I think you get like four or five packs or something, plus some dust at six wins, and that's roughly, um, you know, your thousand gold for entering. Um, anyways, uh, yep, understand all that jazz, so we're going to pay with, uh, you can pay with ten bucks, or ten, or a thousand gold, sorry, um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make a deck after the transaction and all that stuff. Right, right. <clears throat> so, um, thought long and hard about what kind of deck to make, and uh, ultimately, you know, settled on Shaman, it's represented here, but it's lagging a little bit, I guess a lot of people are trying to get in there, um, because, you know, I think Shaman is a deck that um, really isn't represented in the meta much right now, you know, especially after those pretty brutal nerfs, um, like Rock Better doubling in mana cost, that's, I mean, that's pretty crazy, right? that completely took out one entire architect, uh, or archetype of uh, the Shaman deck, right? And then, of course, there was the uh, Tuscar Totemic bug fix, but that's whatever. Um, right, so previously people were ha uh, like getting non-classic set totems, uh, so they fixed that bug, right? Um, so let's go ahead and uh, make our, our Shaman deck here. Um, let's go ahead and do it on camera, because why not, right? Let's show you how, how bad my cards are. Uh... Wow, there is a lot of lag on even just in the collection before jumping in there. So, um, I think in terms of like standard net deck and all that jazz, right, I think my uh, Shaman is closest to um, closest to what most people play if they were to have like every card available to them. Um, I don't have Tusk, uh, not the, uh, what's it called? Totem Golems, and I don't have Thalanos, so I think f those three cards are um, basically what I don't have that most other people would otherwise run. Um, so let's see. I play Flame Juggler instead, and uh, play a Cobalt just for the, the spell damage. And what other two cards am I missing here? Um, let's see. I think people used to run... I don't remember what I ran. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I think... <clears throat> excuse me there. Uh, I don't think most people play Flame Wreath. And I think some people play some other 3 drop. Like, I think some people play the Argent Horse Rider. Um, actually, let me go ahead and check. Let me go ahead and check uh, what I usually run. Um, yeah, so, let's see, Harrison, oh, I gotta have Azure Drakes, don't know how I forgot about that, what did I cut for that then, Harrison, double Azure Drake, um, yeah, 
That makes sense. As a Drake makes sense. So, oh, let's go ahead and read what the Tavern Brawl thing says. So, Heroic Brawl, make a standard deck to compete with the best. Stakes are high, the competition uh, intense. Win or more wins means more awards. Can you make it to 12 wins? Probably not. Um, or will three losses end your run? More than likely. Uh, so, double Drake. And then, what do I have extra in here? That I didn't have in my other deck, the Squeeze and Harrison Jones. Did I have a I'm pretty sure I had a Cold Ball in my other deck. Maybe I didn't. Um, <clears throat> let me check again. May or may not be in there. Uh, I guess it's not. Okay, that's fair. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, joking aside, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, like, for me, personally, uh, my two best decks probably are Shaman and Zoo, just because those are the two decks that I have, um, most of the cards for. <clears throat> um, Problem with Zoo for me is, uh, obviously the discard mechanic, right? Cause usually I don't, uh, well, it's a mechanic that kind of lets you, there's synergy to it, right? You can discard but draw cards with Malkazar's Imp and all that jazz. Um, unfortunately, I usually don't get that combination. Uh, discard is just discard for me. And I also usually discard the better cards in my hand versus the worst cards. So it's kind of inconsistent. Shaman is a, also a little bit inconsistent just because you kind of have to draw cards in the right order sometimes. Um, and that's something you guys know I'm not very good at. So that's also kind of inconsistent, but it's a little bit more consistent in that sense. Um, <clears throat> even though I have all the cards needed for Zulok. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, you won't be able to edit your deck once, uh, you won't be able to edit your deck again this run. Is this your final deck? Yeah, sure. Um, one thing I wasn't exactly clear on is, is this like a one-time thing uh, for each person for the week that it's available? It might be available in other weeks as well. I don't know. Um, or if it's like a, every time like you lose three, like you can just start it again like a normal arena, right? So anyways, um, I mean, I think a lot of people suspected like Shaman would be the meta. So I'm guessing we're going to run into a lot of counter decks, like probably Control Warrior. Uh, which I wish I could play. If I had, like, all the cards for a controller, I would totally play that. Dragon Warrior is, like, not as great anymore. Um, thought about playing that, too, but, meh. So, yeah, I really wish I had all the cards for a controller. Warrior. I just like playing Warrior. So here we go. So here's our first loss. Um, pretty appropriate. <clears throat> so, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, toss everything, right? Yeah. Oh, some of the other things I'm not super great on with uh, Shaman, um, utilizing the Spirit Claws, right? Because I can, <clears throat> I usually can draw Spirit Claws fine. Um, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and just play this. Um, you can play Spirit Claws pretty fine. <clears throat> Sorry, I have like a, I'm getting over a cold, so it's kind of like tickle in the back of my throat. Anyways, yeah, usually can play uh, Spirit Claws pretty fine, but I'm not very good at getting, like, spell power off of this. Oh, that's kind of ironic as I say that. Um, so, yeah, um, kind of wish I had, what's it called, Totem Golems, because that would have been pretty nice. But, he, I mean, he probably has uh, a thingy, what's it called, uh, War Axe, so it's not really even that necessary right now. So I'll go ahead and just sit um, <clears throat> and all that jazz. Uh, I don't know. Do I just play the thing from below next turn? He's probably going to slam War Axe it the next turn, so... Yeah, but I guess I can protect the total, uh, Tunnel Trog. <clears throat> so, I guess that's kind of nice behind this guy. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just think from below. <clears throat> and he'll just go ahead and slam and War Axe it. Um, I, I mean, he has the War Axe. Let's see if he has the slam. Uh, and then we can, like, Tunnel Trog into Flame Re Actually, that might not be a good idea, because he's just going to Brawl next turn. Yeah, okay. He's going to Harrison me, or no, because he's going to Overdraw if he does. So he's playing Dragon Warrior. <clears throat> okay, that's kind of interesting. That's fair, that's fair. Um, so if he's playing Dragon Warrior, I don't think he has, uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> brawl, right? So I guess we just go with that. And then he's gonna happen to have a brawl and um and then my uh 
my what do you call it is going to live my taunt totem. So that's pretty cool too. Um, I guess no, never mind. His his dude, Blackwing Corruptor, would actually win the brawl. Never mind. Yeah, sorry, gave gave myself a little too much credit there. So probably just brawl and hit me in the face for five, because um, for whatever reason he'll just run the brawl. But if not, then yeah. Kind of surprised. I mean, I didn't think Dragon Warrior would be hit that badly by the Execute. A lot of people, there you go. So as, as a Corruptor thing, he's going to win. Cool stuff. I guess that makes sense. If you're going to run, if you're going to play Dragon Warrior, um, you might as well uh, run the Brawl in this, like, Tavern Brawl. Because, uh, let's just Totem and, and do some stuff. Um, do I want to get another minion on the board? Yeah, sure. Um, let's see. Would he run Harrison? If he does run Harrison, he wouldn't Harrison because he would overdraw. So let's not attack. And if he has Harrison, force him to not be able to do anything about it. Um, <clears throat> or not play it, rather. So yeah, playing, playing Brawl definitely makes sense, I think, in this Tavern Brawl, because... Like I said, you're probably gonna expect a lot of okay, so we got execute coming. Uh like I said, you're probably gonna expect a lot of like shaman and like zoo or whatever and stuff like that. Easy decks to to play. So uh here we go. Bop that. Go ahead and not get a healing totem. Um Uh sure. Let's just go ahead and start pushing some some damage. Yeah. Um what was I going to say? Yeah, so it makes sense to play Brawl. Um, so, bat, no, Slam. Okay, so he's got another Ghoul, it looks like. Which is fine. Um, cool, cool. Alright. Um, so it's not real spell power. Um... Hmm. I could clear his board. Um. Guess we will. And we'll toss that guy out there and sure. So. Holding out, but he's gonna have some big threats coming out. Let's see, one black wings. What what dragon? What big dragons do we think? Alex, meh. Uh. Oh, interesting. I don't see that much in Dragon Warrior. So, uh, what is he gonna pull? Deathwing here? Is Deathwing really that? He's he's already kind of ahead. Deathwing is probably not that needed. Um. I don't know. What would he want in there? Bookworm is pretty good. <clears throat> Definitely pretty good. Uh. Sure. Does he have second brawl? Maybe. In the top, uh, well, has a chance to top deck next turn. In the top 14 cards? Yeah, probably has it. So let's go ahead and just do it then. Um. Interesting. Uh, so go ahead and bop there. Do I give up my taunt totem? Let's not. Um make him try to deal with it. So, he already double ravaging, uh, has one execute down, probably not playing shield slam, usually don't see that in Dragon Warrior, and I usually don't see Historian in Dragon Warrior, so that was kind of interesting. Um, I kind of want him to play a bunch of stuff, and I can maybe, like, storm, but, yeah, so that's going to go into that guy, and, hmm. so he's going to go bop bop, and then he's going to execute that next turn. Uh, or I can give up my dude here. Giving up spell power, I think, is fine. Uh, to protect the Thunder Bluff. Right? And I don't think we need to play anything else. We don't need to extend into his Brawl again, so... Yeah. Um, in this case, the 2-2. Two -two. Well, I guess he could play something, and then that will win the Brawl. He kind of messed up last time, right? Because he let my thing from below win the Brawl. Okay, that's fair. <clears throat> okay, that's cute. 
So, same thing again. We'll go at, ooh, that's even better. Uh, go ahead and just, uh, do this. Uh, I guess I could storm. Nah, let's play it. Let's play it tad safe. Do I want to? <clears throat> yeah, let's play it. Let's just play it safe. Um, do that. Actually, did I miss? Mm, I may have missed Le no. What was 3-6? Yeah, I was going to say, maybe I should have, like, Storm, but no, I don't think that would have uh, gave me lethal, so. Alright, he's going to block into Brawl. Or he's looking to, at least. Probably should. Chilma. Okay, cool. So we trade these guys in. <clears throat> um... Trade these guys in. Do I risk? Okay, so here, if he has another dragon, do I have a read? I haven't been paying attention to his his plays. So he had, was that top deck? Because I know he played a thingy last turn that got activated by having a dragon. So if he top deck this, he probably has a dragon, right? So I have nine damage. If I taunt, if I totem hit that, this would be four. Um, Sorry, what am I saying? This is 9 plus 4, 13. He has 12. So I do have lethal if he doesn't have a dragon. Um, so... Uh... I don't know. <clears throat> Let's just play it safe. Okay. So that's cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and just bop. Bop. So, didn't miss lethal there. <clears throat> because he had the effect, so that's cool. Uh, Deathwing here actually wouldn't be bad. But I would be able to deal with it, so, yeah. And second Drake, okay, cool. So it looks like we got, at least we won't go 03, right? So that's, uh, super nice. Oh. Alright. Cool, cool. So we'll go ahead and just keep on finishing, uh, this run. Oh, that's nice. Totally didn't realize I was accomplishing that quest. Um, so we'll continue. Uh, this will probably be, uh, Heroic Tavern Brawl, part one of, probably one. I'll probably boost the next three to, like, Control Warriors. Um, maybe like, uh, I don't know. What else beats Shaman? I think people say Rogue beats Shaman? I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> um, cause I know I see, I saw, I've seen a lot of people. I'll, I'll definitely lose the, the Shaman Mirror match, right? Cause, uh, my opponent's probably gonna be better at drawing cards than I am. Um, so, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep the thing from, I got Tunnel Trog into Coin Feral Spirit, which is kind of nice, I guess, if he doesn't just Lightning Bolt. If he doesn't, uh, actually, I have the coin, so I was gonna say he probably. If I play Tunnel Truck, he's probably just gonna Tunnel Truck Coin Lightning Bolt. But um, I don't know. I'm a fan of keeping things from below. Sure. I think I have a fairly aggressive start that I can hold a little bit uh, later, uh, um, a slower card. So I guess based on what he plays, I can determine whether I want to just coin uh, Feral Spirit into. Uh, Let's see, if I coin Feral Spirits, or if I just hear a power. Because if I coin Feral Spirits, I'm not going to do anything the next turn, right? So he's already better than I am, right? Because he has uh, better cards. So let's... <sighs> this is really bad. Because he basically... He's getting my Feral Spirits, my, my three and my coin, and I skip my next turn in order to like deal with this. Right, I could coin hex it, which is like not good. So, do I just give him my tunnel truck? I don't think I do. So I guess I'll just do this. And yeah, I don't know. So next turn I have, I guess next turn best card would be lightning bolt, but I'm pretty sure I won't draw it because that'd be too good. Um, healing totem probably. Probably should have got a healing totem, but that's fine on him. Um, I think I go ahead and just make the trade. And, you know, don't let any shenanigans happen. Um, 
If he has a flame ring, that'd be pretty cool. I could probably hex it, but all right. So it's gonna lightning bolt that. So there's this. Yeah. So it was it was a good idea to to not or to to make the trades and clear everything out. So now I guess I go ahead and next turn have a three. I guess I could hex something. Yeah, sure. I mean, if he has the hex, then you know that's just basically his turn. <clears throat> I was gonna say top deck hex. No, I was, yeah, okay, he had it. That's cool. That's cool. So I'll go ahead and just tote him because I don't have anything else to play, right? Unless I have a mana tide, that'd be uh, pretty good. But yeah. Um, hopefully he'll hold his charges and I can get some value off of, uh, eh, you know what, let's go ahead and just toss the flame. I, mean, I probably should have, actually, I should, probably should have just, uh, hero powered. Um, that makes the most sense because he gets the value off the heal. He doesn't take one extra damage. Um, do I just go ahead and, like, Harrison Jones for one? I can probably try to get some value off of that. I don't know. It's not that great. Lightning Bolt again would be great, but I shouldn't draw it, so... Yeah. Let's see if he has one damage somehow. He could probably Lightning Bolt this and just hit me in the face for... Probably four, and then... Something. I don't know. So Lightning Stone would be good, but again, not going to draw that. Uh, I guess I could kill one of his wolves with the Fire Elemental. So he's going to trade the... Uh, uh, totem and the here uh, the weapon into into my Drake. Pretty good. Oh, it's just gonna go face. Okay, so yeah, he's not respecting Lightning Storm because he knows I don't have it. Um, or yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's good on him. That's smart play. Um, really insightful. Like I, I don't think I would usually be able to catch people not having uh, Lightning Storm. So let's go ahead and start bopping. Um, so that's gonna happen. This probably, and then. Still no lightning star next turn. I can probably like hit that or maybe hit that instead with the fire alley. Yeah, I don't know. He probably has lightning storm though. Actually, this lightning storm help. Yeah, so he's gonna kill my thing here too. Yeah, like I said, this guy's a lot better at. Oh, that was a bit of a mistake, but I guess that's mildly okay. Um, yeah, maybe another spirit clause. There you go. Yeah, so like I said, this guy's a lot better at playing shaman than I am. Um. So, what are you going to do? Yeah. Um, yeah, so probably not going to be good enough to get a uh, Lightning Storm here, but we'll try, right? Um, I guess I could Harrison into a potential Lightning Storm. I think that's the only way I can uh, win, right? So, still probably won't, but... Okay, there you go. Um, so, he's still going to have 6 damage. Uh, so, Lightning Bolt will still kill me, but... We'll go ahead and just... Actually, no, sorry. He has 8 damage. Um, okay. I did a little bit better than I expected by killing the uh, Feral. But it doesn't really matter. 1 damage versus 3 damage, considering that he doesn't have any more Spirit Claws, is not a huge deal. So Lightning Bolt still kills me. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess next turn is going to be Harrison into Lightning Bolt that um, at 3 health. Need to get some... Uh, what's it called? Taunt dudes. Uh, make sure I can, like... Actually, no. Thunder Bluff would kill me here. <clears throat> right, so he has one Lightning Bolt. Uh, still has Lightning Bolt for an out. Um, Mergleton. Mm, yeah. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I should have expected that. This, knowing how good this guy is at playing uh, Hearthstone. So... Let's see. Anything I can do here? Uh, I'm dead in two turns anyways, so there's no way I can do anything right. So we just finish our quest. Well, not finish our quest, but get a little bit of our quest uh, completed. So there we go. So <clears throat> that's so that was a good example of how you should play Shaman. And uh, unfortunately, you're not going to get much of that from me. So yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely try to play, like, I should watch that match again, and, well, actually, I kind of, like, I was able to figure out why he was playing so well, right, and so I just need to do what he does, learn how to draw cards in the right order, learn how to, um, 
you know, get spell power to help clear stuff when you have spirit claws, you know, all that good stuff. Um, it's always kind of difficult to get better uh, at something when you like you know how to improve, but you just can't execute it, right? Like, I could go back and watch that and like maybe find like other ways I can improve, but there are some like really big areas that I know I need to improve on. Um, but it's just like execution. I can't do it. Like drawing cards in the right order, getting spell power when I uh, need it. Holding the thing from below, that might have been a bad idea because I ended up not totaming very much. So that's something I can do that's not hard for me to execute, right? Toss that in the mulligan. But um, drawing lightning storm when I need lightning storm, that's kind of an execution thing. It's tough to do. So, um, yeah. All right. So probably going to run into the control warrior here. And um, probably won't coin War Axe. I don't think you need a coin War Axe. So there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and toss this out there to get War Axe. Um, actually, now that I drew, it, drew the thing from below, maybe I should have. So I could have totemed and then totem on three. And then this would have been on four. So yeah, maybe that could have been. So that's something I can work on. Um, drawing the Harrison Jones. It's kind of interesting. Because now he plays a War Axe, that kind of can let me... Maybe I need to save it for Gorehal, though. If he is playing a uh, thingy. Uh, if, he, if he bashes something, then... Okay, so Cthune Warrior. Interesting. Uh, does Cthune Warrior run Gorehal? I think it does. Um, so question here now is where I want to play into Brawl. I, I don't think I need to do that. Uh, Maelstrom. Right, so let's just hold. Um, so yeah, just take it slow. It's going to block here. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and just extend into Brawl, having three minions. Eh. Okay, now that I have the Flame Tongue, I might just, like, Totem. And just, like... Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the right play. Probably not, but try to put some pressure on him. Uh, make him brawl here, and then I can drop some big stuff. Although, dropping some big stuff, yeah, has removal for it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know. But at least if he brawls here, it's not like super great value. I mean, probably the healing totem is the best one for him to win. Um, considering I have more value off of the Wrath of Air, even though I don't have a way to utilize it quite yet. I guess I do have... Um, Maelstrom's. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll see what he does. He's, I think he's thinking about whether he wants to brawl now, but it, it's not a super great brawl. He's taking six per turn. It's not even that big of a deal. So we got the Worshipper here. Okay. Um. Hmm. So what do I need to save Hex for? I need to save Hex for Cthune, because I don't want it to be, like, Doom Collared or whatever. Um... I guess I do want to taunt Totem here, right? Surprised I got that. So go ahead and just buff him up a little bit. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and toss that out. See if we can beat the Brawl. Because this is a lot better to Brawl. Um, if I were to choose, probably Taunt Helm is fine, I think, for winning the Brawl. Uh, kind of annoying, but less dangerous than Wrath of Air. I don't know. It's going to coin out Valko, whatever, dude. Probably. Twin Imps. Nope, Shield Bearer. Okay. That's fair. Um, guess we'll go ahead and Drake. Um, I mean, I could clear without killing this guy, right? Could go boom and then hit hit. I think I'll do that. Uh, try to get some big damage on face. And again, playing into Brawl, but still have an okay reload. And eh, I don't really have a good reload for Brawl. Never mind. Okay, uh, so now, best one is probably Flame Tongue, and then you can just War Axe it, and I guess I'll just go ahead and Harrison because I don't have anything better. I'm gonna just, just let him play Gore Hal. So probably Flame Tongue is the best bet here. I guess maybe the Archer is okay too. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. 
So go ahead and go ahead and just do some of this stuff. Uh, would he second brawl this? I mean, maybe top two brawls in top thirteen is decent. I guess I do have some reload in terms of like feral spirits and all that stuff. So we're in an okay-ish spot. If it wants to brawl again, shield slam that. That's cool. So that's one brawl, one shield slam. So they got two executes. Um, let's see how I want to play this. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Get some dudes out. Kind of wish you could kind of place where the spirit uh, wolves go. But alas, that's not the case. Um, let's see if he goes ahead and... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, what's it called? So that's cool. He's got a war axe here. I guess I'll go ahead and just let him gore howl. Because I don't really have a great hand. I don't know. How am I going to deal with this double storm? Probably not a good idea. Thunderbluff, Valiant. Um, hmm. Can I deal with this if I Thunder Bluff and Taunt? Uh, no. Lightning Storm could. Hmm. Guess I'll go ahead and do this. Hmm. Could clear his board. If I just drop Harrison here. Uh, he can just go bop and bop, and I can Lightning Storm next turn. That might, I think that might be okay. Probably not the best line, but whatever. Uh, that changes things, kind of. Hmm. Nah, it's whatever. Okay. Actually, would he brawl this? Maybe. Yeah, you might brawl this. I don't know. Um, yeah, he probably... It's an okay brawl. He might try to save brawl for, like, dude, but, you know, he probably has, like, a shield slam, another shield slam, or an execute in hand, so he's he's probably all good. Oh, that's cute. Um, oh, that's interesting. Cool times, cool times. So he's got the execute. Oh, well, maybe he has an execute. Bop there. Kill that. Kill the... Okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So... Do I want a Thunder Bluff? Taunt? Or not taunt, but hero power. What would that accomplish for me? If I miss with the spell power, I could clear with some of this stuff. Can I? Uh, so let's... Uh, so we're going to get 2-2... Two, two, that's going to die regardless, too. So that's three. Um, I can lightning bolt. No, I have to light storm. Okay, so no. So that's going to be a three health. That's going to be at two health. That's going to be at one health. I guess I could trade. No, that's not very good. Do I just double storm here? No. Okay, so let's not play that. Let's go ahead and just totem. Oh, so that was a misplay. Okay. Uh, I guess we just, like, Lightning Storm and uh, Portal, so that would clear. Uh, okay. That's fair, I guess. Um, so I guess I maybe should have... Uh, no, I think that would have been okay overall. Alright, so I'm going to clear my board. That's good. Ooh. Bit of a misplay there in not clearing my Harrison, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, so that's what we saved Hex for. Um, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and hit face, and then Hex, and we'll drop the Azure Drake, and cool stuff. Okay, so we might still be in this, um... Yeah, that was definitely a costly misplay on his part, not clearing my Harrison Jones. 
because obviously the bubble kind of plays into it as well. But, um, let's just click, uh, Shield Slam. Okay, and then does he have, like, a... Uh... Okay, that's Execute. So that's, okay, so he yeah, had some plays. Maybe not a huge, huge misplay there. Uh, let's go ahead and clear his board. Um, do that. We'll go ahead and hit him in the face. Oh, guy can't tote him. Oh, okay. That was actually better than anticipated. Just thinking probably just hit him in the face, but that actually is better, um, which is why I didn't expect that to happen. So he has one more execute, one more brawl. Um, so just got to not overextend. His doom caller is not really going to get as much value as before. Um, still have to deal with it, but it's not going to get as much value. Just a car, cool stuff. Um, oh, that's a nice top deck. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's hold off on the the dudes because we don't really need to extend into it that, uh, into a second brawl quite yet. What else was he? What else would he have? Um, Oh, there we go. Okay, so we still have... We're still probably going to lose because of uh, Elise, but, you know, we'll deal with it when we can. Uh, so, do I want to start extending into Brawl now? Because I kind of need to... Okay, that kind of makes things a little bit better. Do I totem? Maybe I just don't totem. I don't really need to totem, I don't think, to make this Brawl better. Um, when he brawls, I can start doing this, but until then, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's a misplay, maybe I should be just trying to be really aggressive. So there it is, top decked it, so, um, you know, I think I played pretty well on that. Probably, I mean, to be honest, maybe leaving the spell power would have been better, but, you know, that's fine either way, take, it, take some damage. Maybe he just didn't want to rip, no, he still would have cleared it, doesn't, yeah, he probably should have just left the spell power up and then, uh, killed it. Uh, take no damage. But, you know, that's his choice. Uh, does he have an execute left? I forget. I think he does, right? No, yeah, no. He used on a Harrison, no. So that's all his removal. We just have to deal with, like, Deathwing off of, uh, Golden Monkey. Right. So, uh... Okay, he's probably gonna kill that. Um... Yeah, so I got Doomcaller and Golden Monkey to have to contend with. Otherwise, yeah. So I just dropped my second dude. Uh, maybe I just want. And actually, no, I want a Flame Wreath, right? So let's go ahead and we'll totem. See so what's up. Drop this dude. Go ahead and poke there. Just clear his board. Make sure there's no shenanigans. So probably should Golden Monkey pretty soon into like, yeah. So I don't want to extend into Deathwing. Um, hopefully I can draw my hex for Deathwing, but other than that, it's a second. Is this Gorehout? No, nope. Tentacle for Arms. That's right. So we gotta watch out for that. Um, probably don't need to storm this. Um, spell power would be nice, but I shouldn't get it here. Um, I really want to hit seven face, but I don't know if I can leave that up. And you know what? We'll just go ahead and storm. And it won't. Oh, okay. I was gonna say it shouldn't die, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and pump some damage into him. Yeah. So we can't deathwing on the turn of the golden monkey. So that's nice for us. Um, yeah. What other? Would he run any other removal? I'm not sure. We've seen both shield slams and sh executes, both brawls. There's slam. Oh, he did have another execute. Maybe it was. I thought he executed like a like a a thing from below and a. Uh, so that ordering was a little off, but hey. Um, maybe that was the turn, be the, not the turn, but the uh, match before. This was, that was probably it. I was thinking about the match before. So let's go ahead and drop that. Do this. Poke him. Um, 
sure. So just gotta dodge. This gold monkey I can still deal with. Um, and then Deathwing the following turn. So now I really need, need like Hex to deal with his, his Deathwing. Um, yeah. Maybe he might Doomcaller. Doomcaller is still kind of difficult. Actually, no, Doomcaller would be okay for me to deal with. So, I can deal with a monkey, I can deal with a Doomcaller. I just need to find an answer for Deathwing after he monkeys, um, whenever that occurs. So we're going to go ahead and Grom into my face. Uh, let's see, what do I have? 10, 12, 13, 17? Uh, 18, I think I have, right? That's happening regardless. So we do have uh, 8 and 9 and 17, so we're good. Right? Cool. All right. So we're doing okay. Probably end up with three wins. Oh, Shaman's only level, almost level thirty-six. That's pretty nice. I almost finished up with that quest. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, actually call it for now. Um, I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the uh, this brawl in a later installment. But that's part one. We went two and one. Better than I expected. Um, be Dragon Warrior. Which was, I'm not sure what the matchup is there, but, um, yeah. And then it was Shaman Mirror Match, where the other Shaman was much better at playing, uh, the deck than I am. Um, and then Control Warrior, surprisingly, uh, won that one. Although, I'll have to, or not, sorry, not Control, well, I guess it's kind of, it's Cthulhu Control, right? So it's Control Warrior. At least that's what I call my Cthulhu deck, my Control Warrior Cthulhu deck. Control, Ko troll. I can't remember exactly. There's an apostrophe, right? Anyways, um, yeah. So that last match, um, he probably should have won. He misplayed a couple times, um, in terms of slight misplays with the brawls. Like he could have made a worse minion, uh, survive the brawl, but um, he could have had his. No, that was the first one, the Blackwing Corruptor, right? So yeah, a lot of misplays all around, um, myself included. Uh, but, still 2-1, and one, so let's go ahead and, uh, lose the next two in the next match, uh, in the next installment, shall we? So that's it for, uh, Heroic Brawl Part 1, uh, so until next time, thanks for watching, bye.